Want a simple way that you can boost your well-being? Can get, consider getting some strategic sunlight exposure throughout the day, particularly first thing in the morning. See, light enters our eyes and gives our body information that it needs in order to manage things like our moods, our sleep cycles, how alert or focused we feel, our hormones, immune system, even our resilience or our ability to manage stress and anxiety. So how do you do this? Try getting outside to get some exposure to natural sunlight first thing in the morning. Five to 10 minutes is enough to signal a release of dopamine, which is that feel good hormone and neurotransmitter that helps with things like pleasure and motivation. It also helps to spike cortisol. And you may have heard me talk about cortisol in terms of our stress, but it's actually the best time to have a spike in cortisol is first thing in the morning. It helps us to be alert and motivated throughout the day. So what this also does is plant the seed, our natural circadian rhythm. Our bodies know if we're exposed to sunlight exposure early in the day, we know when to wind down and get sleepy at night. It's pretty amazing how much information our body is absorbing and making sense out of the environment around us. Uh, it's a, a complicated prediction machine. So uh, here's a couple of pointers. Spend just five to 10 minutes in natural sunlight. If it's overcast, like it is for me today, try and get 15 to 20. Every little bit adds up. If it's dark when you wake up, just try and get some sun exposure as soon as you can once the sun does come up. And the contingency plan is to get some uh, exposure to natural sunlight in the uh, late afternoon or early evening. So if you miss it in the morning, that's okay. Try and get outside in the afternoon. The wavelengths actually change of the sunlight and our bodies know the difference. So if we get late afternoon sunlight exposure, it knows that it's almost time to start calming down and winding down. And it sets us up for more restful sleep in the evening. Here's a couple of pointers though. You wanna be out uh, when there's natural sunlight, uh, longer if it's overcast, like I said before, and unfortunately sunglasses don't work. You can't wear sunglasses and um, expect to have the same optimal results. Also, it doesn't work unfortunately from inside where windows or even our car windows block too much of the information or too much of the wavelengths that come from natural sunlight for our bodies to absorb it. So really you have to be outside. If you can get a two for one, maybe you combine outdoor sunlight exposure with exercise or gardening or playing with the kids, then it's even uh, more of a benefit. So these are just, you know, one of the small changes that you can make this strategic sunlight exposure to help with um, all kinds of, of good things like our hormone regulation, our sleep cycles, our resiliency. It's just a small change, five to 10 minutes that you can do to prioritize your health and wellness and to feel better without getting overwhelmed. Give this a try this week and let me know how it goes.